Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Drew. Um, I recently purchased the full game of Amnesia. I figured I liked it, so why not just go ahead and, you know, take the video series through the whole thing. A um, few quick things to note is that apparently the demo and the full game are not the same at the beginning. And so to really get the best experience possible, I'm going to have to uh, videotape my way through the beginning. So what we're going to do to kind of save time, which I'm wasting by talking here at the beginning, but I don't want to talk during the cutscenes, is um, I'm just going to run through all of the parts that I've already been through in my Amnesia, let's play the Amnesia demo videos. I've got two of them, they go up to the wine cellar. I'm just going to run through all the familiar areas, and then I'm going to slow down whenever I get to a new area. Now it's really worth noting that beyond whatever is recorded in the Let's Play the Amnesia demo uh, videos that I've got on my profile, I have absolutely no idea what's happening in this game. I have, you know, not played beyond that point. I haven't really watched any videos beyond that point, except for like a four-player podcast thing here and there, just to see Brad freak out because it's hilarious. So, really, um, a blind run, and I think that will be a lot more enjoyable. The reactions will all be real. You know, I'm not trying to be fake, I'm not going to just start squealing when nothing scary happens or something. So, this is me, this is Amnesia, and let's get started. Kind of looks like, like a female symbol there in the bottom left corner, did you guys see it? Don't forget, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me, I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is I am Daniel. You know, if there's a shadow chasing him, wouldn't this time when he's unconscious and not really having his memory back be a perfect time to get him? I mean, maybe that's why he chose to pass out right here by the giant windows. It certainly wasn't for, like, the ambience of the room beyond that, because it's, it's raining. It's like 3 in the morning. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing it at this time. I should be going to bed. But, I, hey, I figure I might as well scare myself right before bed, huh? Alright, so this is my journal. These are my notes. Don't have any. Ooh, with an exclamation mark. No notes are available! My diaries, which again, none of them. And my mementos, which is kind of like my objectives, I'm guessing, which tells me to follow the liquid trail and find its source. So, we're going to do that, but first we're going to go through this door that did not want to open at first. And we're going to take a tinderbox. So let's talk about the inventory screen real fast. This is all of the stuff that you collect through the game to help you solve puzzles, yada yada yada. Um, this is your health, it kind of looks like an upside down frog. Um, I guess it's like supposed to be your heart. But, it's your health, obviously it says all is good, so I'm perf in perfectly fine condition. Nothing to worry about here. This is your sanity meter. It tells me that I'm crystal clear, which I think is kind of a lie because I would be thinking I was a little insane if I woke up you know, with amnesia in the middle of a castle, but whatever. So that's your sanity meter, and as you go insane, it gets harder to maneuver around, and I've heard it makes it easier for enemies to spot you and stuff. These are your tinder boxes. You use them to light, you know, ambient light sources like torches or candles and stuff like that, and you have a finite number of them. So you can create your own light sources when you need to. And this is your oil for when you find a lantern. Um pretty self-explanatory. The more oil you have, the longer you can use the lantern. It consumes oil as long as you've got the lantern up. So it's pretty important to keep finding that, as I found out in the Amnesia demo that I played. What the? Wow, that pot's resilient. I'm taking that with me. That could be like a monster bludgeoning tool. Come on. Falling down. Falling down. Can't hold it. Go on without me, Pot. Poor Pot. <laughs> the 
This didn't affect my sanity at, at all, even though I'd start questioning things right about now. I, I don't know. Um, but whatever, I guess Daniel's a pretty resilient guy, huh? Maybe this is just a really drafty stone room that has no windows. The whole system of opening doors kind of requires you to stop moving and manually open them, which is really great for enhancing the atmosphere and kind of uh, providing tension, I'd imagine, in more dangerous scenarios. The effects in this game are really cool. Like, you can right now kind of see that the walls are kind of constricting inwards rooms and creeks as the castle apparently settles, which I address in my other videos. Daniel falls down. This happens a couple times. That's weird. There wasn't that mist in the demo. Huh. Alright, so this is a new room. I don't think I was in here at all. Or maybe this room was just different in the demo. Is there anything in here I can get? No, there's nothing in there. to be anything in here, so I'm not going in. If you want to know what happens, go watch the other Amnesia videos that I did. You'll see the reactions. So the most noticeable change so far is I did not get the lantern in that last room. I was pretty sure that's... yeah, that's where I got it, for sure. So, um... So now my sanity's slowly draining, it says, and you can kind of see how the, like, the screen's kind of blurring at some edges. It's not very major from what I've heard that uh, the demo kind of drains fast, the demo drains your sanity faster to let you know, you know, what it's like. So this is all a new area, so I'm going to go through this pretty slowly, check everything out. This is not in the demo. See, now that reduced its sanity a little bit. I've got a slight headache, which apparently is something sanity, you know, going insane does. It's nice and bright in here. A couple tender boxes. So at some point you have to just start wondering, when is it crazy to continue hanging around in a castle where weird stuff's happening? I would say right now is a good time to be looking for a way out. Maybe through one of these windows? actually really creepy, like, compared to, you know, how mellow kind of the demo seemed until the end. And those zombie moans really aren't helping either. Come on, Pot. You're with me. Let's do this. Alright, so we're looking around for... in the way, I'm throwing that. We're looking for something, anything that could really be helpful 
And you never know what you can interact with because it doesn't really glow until you get close. So, can't go through here. Gotta go through the creepy room into the creepy hallway. I'm beginning to develop kind of a theme here where you go from a creepy room to a creepy room to a creepy room. So let's get a torch up and going. I just used one of my tinder boxes. I'm down to seven. It's pretty liberal with the tinder boxes compared to the demo in which I only gave you like seven. So the door's locked. So I need to find a key or another way around, what have you. So let's take a look around. Some notes there, but apparently not worth picking up because my character is psychic and knows which notes are worth picking up. Did you guys just hear footsteps too? Let me know. Because I totally did. I totally keep hearing footsteps. That's not cool at all. Not cool, game. Let's get some more torches going on in here. A dog's barking downstairs. I wonder if anybody can hear that. Bad music. 